Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Experience Point, and here we are, back again, with The Road to Berlin, The Red Turn, a Soviet story. Where are we at? Well, we're continuing the southern branch of the uh, campaign. I'm not sure if this is the fourth mission in order, but we're just going to follow branches all the way through. Um, so here we go. We have gone to the Lower Dempia, and now we are crossing the Dempia, which is this river right here. So, yeah, let's get to it and see how the brilliant victory was achieved. Uh, the mission itself is uh, quite an enjoyable mission. It's not painstaking and you should be able to get this one first turn. So let's just uh, start from the beginning where we will have a look at supply. So, your supply will be on the road and it is uh, 8 spaces long so you're never going to have to worry about being out of supply. The enemy supply is on the road as well and it is very easy to capture which is something we're actually going to do. Uh, having with the, object uh, the objectives we have Zapovori which uh, is taking in turn number one and we have the Krogovi Rog which is taking in turn five. So if we uh, just begin start by attacking with your uh, artillery units there Special step is brilliant for um, removing entrenchment and can cause a lot of damage. Um, the T-34 is also really good at suppression um, as well. Take these units by um, infantry, like remove the unit from the place, uh, from the objective, so that you can attack across the river with your armor. Um, it's always good to... Uh, you could have like uh, attacked with the strongest unit when you're crossing the river, and I could have probably weakened him up with this special step unit here. Then bring your armor two steps in, and uh, look at attacking with your next. Attack with the infantry first because the special step gives it a significant bonus to attack. And then uh, use your infantry here just to try to wear the guy down and uh, remove him from that hexagon. Once he's removed, bring forward a, uh, a full strength unit and just see if you can't push yourself in again. And then uh, bring forward your uh, any other units that have been attacked. Okay, here uh, attack a unit. That, attack this unit here first, um, so you can use your artillery with a special step first. Then uh, you are able to move your artillery off. Okay. And then you'll be able to bring this armor across to take this unit. Uh, what I did over here was just to bring a unit onto the same side of the river and also to put it in um, the threat of taking the supply source, which means that you don't either have to de entrench or with. Or with uh, risk, I should say, sorry, uh, losing supply, um, though he will be supplied from the south. Um, but just, just taking a supply is always a good thing. And then move another unit here, which you moved to make room for this guy, over here, so that even if they do decide to attack and take this unit, which I don't see why, um, you can't lose your supply, they won't do a mad rush. Okay. And then uh, we're building bridges, because we're bridge builders, that's what we do. And we're trying to move forward to get rid of the... Uh, zone of control so we can move things forward here. You always want to keep pushing. Don't stop pushing. Okay, you can um, only cross the river if you haven't moved at all in that turn. So for example this guy attacked here, which is the best place to attack because he's in range of both units with special steps. He moved, so he will not be able to cross the river, but this guy who didn't move, even though he attacked, he still could uh, cross the river. Okay, as we prepare for their uh, counter attacks, they will try to form another line. As you see, you know, in a slightly more defendable position, but the infantry is uh, only four parts out of a possible seven or eight with a special step. So really, they will be pushovers here. Uh, you're going to win on overwhelming numbers. Okay, so that's what they've done. Now we've took the supply. As you see, we've made a. Uh, I've taken the bridge, I've made a river crossing, and now we're attacking with our strong unit here because this guy is a real threat. So we want to get rid of him. Okay, now we're uh, moving up one. We couldn't move him up more than one at that time because of this zone of control. It really does take away your ability to move. Um, if I could have, I could have converted him to his attack points to defense. Sorry, to attack points to movement points, move him here, and then move the armor straight over here. So I possibly should have done that instead. Okay. Now we're just putting our best units forward and uh, attacking, trying to attack the same unit uh, so we can really destroy him, though we, um, because yeah, you don't want to attack across the entire front, otherwise you 
may suppress him one or two units, but he won't destroy him. He'll just be resupplied the next turn. And um, from level to level, it, they can be resupplied, either two parts or three parts. Um, it does seem to be a, um, a random number there of how much they are supplied. Uh, if you also reorganize um, your units, you can only do so if they have not attacked or moved. Uh, it's also important to note your own, we can reorganize, which is reinforce any unit. Um, it will, it's a maximum of three to that individual unit, three parts like I did to this unit right here. But you can only do five reorganizing units per turn, which means I could disband all these units here, which might be like 20 units. Unfortunately, only five come in per turn, so you need to take note of that. Um, sometimes it's better just to keep your units in play, or to really think ahead, you know, should I disband my units to be at the start, or should I keep them going? Okay, so we have got full supply uh, from the east, and that's not in any danger at all, but we are just trying to uh, get rid of this guy, just because he's been a bit of an, uh, an annoyance. And he's going to affect our ability to move. Okay, so from here, just uh, keep going. If you have the weather against you, I should say, sorry, the weather is against you if you're a attacker. It always gives you, I believe, a negative two uh, in your points when you're attempting to attack. It's always good for defense. Uh, the weather is very random, though some missions seem to have bad weather as part of the scenario. Other times, you won't see it at all. Uh, some missions, when you have the cover of gravity to deal with distance, it's best just to restart because if you've got bad weather there's no way you can achieve the uh, objective. With that said, if you're a defender, weather's always good, especially if you're entrenched. But you can't entrench in bad weather unless you have the engineer specialist step. The only ones that have the engineer specialist step I believe are the Axis. So there we go, we just attacked him to no effect. It's not good to just throw away your troops but there might have been a chance. Sometimes you can um, even if it says nothing's going to suppress, you might have a chance to suppress it. Though normally the uh, indicator that comes up here is quite accurate. And it seems like the uh, random number generator isn't uh, isn't too harsh or too random. So there we go. Just building another bridge because we can, because we like building our bridges. Uh, oh, they have different colours for different bridges. That's nice. And you see, at the end of the turn, the bridge grows active. There's not much that the Axis can really do. Um, I should have destroyed this unit because his zone of control stopped me from getting further south, but it will not matter. Um, I have to uh, take this objective in the next turn and there's no real danger that I'm not going to be able to do that. Remember in the red turn you can't disband units that are strong and you can't disband more than one unit without a uh, prestige penalty. And that prestige penalty will be um, dependent completely on um, the strength of the unit. So a tank might have a hundred penalty, while an infantryman will have only fifty or twenty-five. Okay, and that's a change from the Stalingrad campaign. Okay, so we're just uh, getting rid of this blocker here. He's been a road blocker. And, uh, moving up our tanks, and uh, we had to attack him, which was fortunate, but we did get an overrun, so that's quite nice. Okay, putting our um, strongest units forward because uh, you don't want infantry getting in the way. Though it might be good of taking this area of control if that was possible. Otherwise, I could have um, just disbanded them if they were in the way. So attacking with our best foot forward. Um, here we go. I could have probably taken this two turns earlier, three turns earlier, and had him out of supply, but it doesn't really matter. We suppressed him. Now, uh, even a suppressed unit can fight back, so you do want to attack with something of significant strength. And dun dun dun, dun we have it. So that's it. Turn five. Uh, if we just. Uh, Restart, we're going to have a really quick look. So, overview. Take this with your infantry, destroy this. Don't put an infantry in there, but take it. Uh, destroy this unit, and then bring your armor in. I would attack with this unit first to weaken him if that's possible. Use your armor to smash him. You may get an overrun, so that you can smash this unit as well, and then bring your armor up again, and perhaps take out this unit or another threat at the back there. Cross the um, up here, you want to smash this unit because both artillery can attack it. Bring this across the river, bring this down, attack it, push forward, and then build up a bridge here. Over here, choose uh, this unit here, attack it with both, or you can choose this unit here if you want, and uh, attack it with uh, all three. 
uh, or even possibly four, and then try to sort of force your way down here, and then just uh, keep going. Force your way, uh, you bring this guy across here, take the supply, you can force your way down, you may be able to get this on turn two, um, and then you'll be able to force here, and here, and it's game over. So, this has been Experience Points, I hope you've gained some experience from uh, watching my video, and uh, I hope you have a good day. Cheers!